subscribe to Ray's Chaos. And welcome back, everybody. My name is Ray's Chaos. You've made it back to my channel, and yes, Ray's finally got his little shaky camera thing figured out and fixed, but I uh, couldn't do it fast enough to get the video up on time, so that happened. <laughs> what is that? We're not worrying about it. Um, so, uh, welcome back. This is another Tuesday video, which means single pop video, uh, regular single pop video. And uh, this week we have Bartman. Bartman from The Simpsons. Uh, yes. Bartman initially appeared <laughs> for the first time, surprisingly enough, on The Simpsons. And uh, the story that he gave, uh, or the, the reason why uh, it came into existence, is basically the Simpsons were taking the kids to a comic book convention. And uh, uh, yeah, Bart, in his ever enterprising mind, decided to whip this little costume together and put it on in order to convince the people there he was actually a superhero. Um, uh, even going to so far as to give a big long story, uh, origin story and everything, um, which included actually, uh, his grandfather who used to fly around Gotham City. Uh, it doesn't work. They're, for some reason, they're not convinced that he's really a superhero and he still has to pay the cover charge to get in, um, or the cover charge, um, ticket fee, whatever you want to put it, um. What I found more interesting in, in that, as far as that episode went, was that uh, it was on the way back um, when they point out that Lisa was so excited because she was able to get a bunch of uh, Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane issues. And, uh, and, you know, the joke being that, you know, they were really cheap and she was able to get a lot of them. Um, what is not necessarily uh well known is how well the writing the ex the uh extraordinary silver age writing went on in that book um because <laughs> yeah you're gonna you didn't think you were gonna get away with me not talking about old comics did you <laughs> even though the majority of those stories were based around lois lane trying to attract superman um the lengths that they went in that 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 book was absolutely insane, and even putting the added uh, science fiction element into it, uh, yeah. If you get the opportunity to check out some old uh, Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane issues, you might be surprised with just how much thought went into it. <laughs> But anyway, we are going to put this guy away, and we're going to talk more about Bartman. It's funny how uh, just that one little uh, bit of him dressing up as Bartman to try and get away from uh, pay paying a ticket price, uh, really, like, they did so much more with the character. Um, he actually did a song called Do the Bartman, which uh, was actually a music video that was on MTV at the time. Um, uh, it didn't really, you know, it, uh, once you heard it a couple of times, you never really wanted to hear it again, but, uh, that didn't stop it from like just exploding everywhere while everybody was listening to it for the first or second time. <laughs> um, that just really kind of erupted and they brought Bartman back, uh, for, um, the comics, of course. Uh, where he would dress up as uh, Bartman to, uh, you know, fight bullies and stuff like that. And uh, even let him cross over into the Radioactive Man comic books, which Radioactive Man is the comic he reads. Um, and they've even done some Bartman, I believe they've done some video games, or had him as a playable character in some of the Simpsons video games. So... Uh, for just being a one-off joke, I mean, you can really tell that Matt Groening really loves comic books. Um, uh, I, I mean, if you didn't catch that from, you know, watching uh, the comic book guy, um, the fact that he actually had that as a character in there 
um, that owned the comic book store. Uh, I mean, that is basically a stereo. That was a stereotypical representation of uh, the majority of comic book store owners from the eighties and nineties at that point. Um, now, not so much um, because since, since comics have got much of a wider audience um, due to the movies and everything, uh, you're not necessarily going to be having uh, the crazy recluses that we used to have. Um, and believe me, we had some crazy recluses at the time. Not saying that Ray's didn't work at a comic book store for like nine years, I believe. Between seven and nine years. Um, yeah, for a long time. Ray's was behind the counter. That's why he goes a little... That's why he goes a little overboard when he starts talking about comics. But we're going to stop this now, and we are going to go ahead and take this out and have a look at it. Dun, dun, dun! It's Bartman! Um, yeah, I always love the simplicity of the, the of how he did this. Um, I don't remember exactly where he got the actual cloth for it, but I love the fact that he just pulled this thing over his head, and uh, it was the shape of his hair, hair that really made it more than just a sock over his head um that really helps it look like an actual comic book character um but yeah so other than that it's just a cape around him and it's just bart simpson and uh yeah there's not you don't need to go too deep into that um and it's really easy to make uh a a uh, funko pop of a cartoon character like this because you don't have to put a lot of detail in it. Because uh, in a lot of cases with uh, with car uh, cartoon series, um, the I mean they are literally just pictures that you have to draw over and over and over again. And I mean I know they can do that digitally now, and they can animate it through there a little bit. But like especially with the older ones, where it literally was just drawing after drawing of the same character to, uh, you know, help give it movement. Um, you didn't really want to make the character that detailed that it was going to be a pain in the butt to redraw over and over again. And uh, Bart Simpson, uh, especially with the uh, Bartman costume, uh, yeah, made it relatively easy f for uh, that transition. Um, but it's a great, it's a great, uh, it's a great looking pop. Um, I do, ha I have gotten, like, I believe the werewolf Bart, um, and I know I got the devil Flander Flanders because that was an absolute must, but other than that, I don't really go for the Simpsons that much, um, just because that feels like a rabbit hole that once you dived into, you dove into, uh, you were never going to come out of, um, and I'm already in enough of those, <laughs> but, uh. I had to make an exception to get the Bartman just because he was Bartman and the whole episode, uh, the, the, the episode was him going to a comic book store. So this just kind of felt right to add to, uh, to raise chaos's collection. Um, but, uh, let me know in the comments below if you've seen that episode and, uh, tell me what you think about Bartman anyway. Uh, he's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know what the uh, video game st status is with him. Um, I don't remember if he was just a guest on a regular Simpsons uh, video game or if he had his own video game. I'm not really 100% positive. So if you do, if you know, let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now and never forget that life is full of odd moments. You never know when you're going to be defined.